Aquarius, it's me, Siren on the Dragon. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. So we're going to get into it for the Aquarius. Aquarius, please. Can I get a message for Aquarius? God above, Holy Spirit, ancestors on the light. Can I get a message for Aquarius? We got a map of what's happening with our channel. These messages. My channel numbers. Aquarius. So we got March Pisces. Is is significant for you, Aquarius? Then we got downstairs, bathroom is significant for you, Aquarius. Or maybe a front bathroom. We have stalker, Aquarius. Tona could be stalking you. That's too many. Maybe four more, please. We got heart attack spells. Somebody could be doing heart attack spells over you, um, Aquarius. I heard backfire. Somebody's heart attack spells backfire. If somebody was doing like spell work on you, Aquarius, it backfired. We got interracial couple, and then we have March Aries. One more. Aquarius. For Aquarius. One more, please. One more. Okay, we have sports practice, and we have uncle on the bottom of the deck. So sports practice, uncle on the bottom of the deck. So let's clarify March Pisces for the Aquarius. What does this mean? March Pisces. Somebody born in March is definitely significant. Somebody here, March, a March Pisces could be, you, you could either be guided towards one, or a March Pisces could be moving um out of your life this is somebody who you've known for a long time i do see like there could be some communication coming in here somebody who you haven't talked to for a while i feel like um there there's going to be some type of party or celebratory energy with this march pisces aquarius yeah it could be a lot of drinking going on just celebrating you two could come together and work on some type of business here um you could you're very much matching each other's energy and like talking logically here okay and in intellectually there's going to be an intellectual conversation between you and a march pisces aquarius so what's this heart attack spells heart attack spells for the aquarius heart attack spells somebody here i see is just doing shit Aquarius, this person, whoever this is that was trying to do spell work over you, possibly spell work over your family, or this could be a family of people who try to do spell work over you. Um, I feel like, like I said before, it backfired, right? So it backfired. Someone here is trapped in that energy, that heart attack energy, okay? Someone here, may, they have they have too much anxiety or they were trying to make you have too much anxiety to be scared to not do whatever this is that's going to get you in this ten of pentacles ace of pentacles energy um yeah their magic it literally just we ended up binding themselves up somebody here could have been trying to bind you up to keep you from um possibly love here or the truth you know they were trying to keep you from clarity having clarity heart attack spells for the aquarius Heart attack spells for the Aquarius. Yeah, they, I feel like somebody was trying to keep you. Hmm. Somebody here was trying to keep you, to keep your business possibly um, in limbo or like you not really knowing what to do here. But I feel like you're still going to be moving forward very quickly. It's almost like the heart attack spells did the exact opposite for you. So if they if their intent when they did the spell work over you Aquarius was to make you nervous and scared and all up in your head, it's almost like it made you go harder. It made you pick up and be like, you know what, I want I want to go harder. 
could have tried to like the whole point was to be like indecisive as well okay but i feel like you're you've already healed that side of yourself you're you're in your king of cups energy you're you're you've already balanced out your emotions you already know what it is that you want and what you don't want and how you want to move and you know it's just a matter of just doing that so someone here is spell work just backfired on them yeah you you're healing something here and i feel like um Someone here is watching you confused as to how the hard tax spells aren't working, Aquarius. Downstairs bathroom for Aquarius. What is this? Downstairs bathroom. I feel like downstairs bathroom. I don't know. There's definitely something that could have been hidden or something that i feel like is going to be balanced out there could be some information that's coming towards you about something that happened in the bathroom or something like that maybe when you're like in a mood where you you're just sitting down and you're not really doing anything and you're just sitting there meditating you're, it's something that possibly um this is either somebody else's energy or your energy it's like somebody's here is just sitting in the bathroom and they feel stuck they feel like you know, I feel I feel like someone here is calling on God, asking for balance to be restored here. Yeah, somebody made too many too, too many risky decisions, and now they're stuck. What's this here with the sports practice for Aquarius? Sports practice. So five of Pentacles, Chariot, and Ace of Wands. Okay, so. It's like this here. I feel like something, somebody here is, is leaving something out. They're moving forward. They're like, you know what? This could have been fun at one point. Yeah, this was fun, a little fun practice or something. But now it's time for something new. It's time for me to try something I ain't never tried before. There's a whole Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands energy here where it's like there's something tangible coming towards you that you can actually see and invest in. And, you know, like you're, you're moving from a five of pentacles energy towards a whole ace of pentacles based off of your intuition here, follow and trust your intuition Aquarius. Yeah. Cause justice is about to be balanced out with these people who are doing all this um, heart attack spells over you. I feel like that's about to be, that's about to be um, balanced out. And I feel like nobody sees that coming here. Um, yeah, so trust your intuition. And I do possibly see like, you know, whoever you could have been with was just practice here for what for the real deal as well. Somebody you got you got you could have a new love that's coming in for you. Or you could also um your intuition also it, it I feel like it's telling you to um get ready for it to work in a new way. Get ready to work in a new way, get ready to give in a new way. Okay, or get ready to receive in a new way here. What sports practice is telling me, like, whatever you've done, whatever was just going on, this was just prep here for you. Now you're moving into a different level, Aquarius. So what's this stalker card for Aquarius? Somebody's angry, they're scared, this person's off balance, they don't want you to, like, somebody here is unstable mentally, this, this stalker here is mentally unstable, they could stalk around your house at nighttime here, but like I said, I feel like someone here is getting ready to move, but whatever this is, this cycle is coming, it's coming to an end here, it's closing out, and the will of karma or the will of fortune is turning in your favor, Aquarius, okay, so if you were once at the bottom getting rolled over, you're about to be up here, on the top here you're about to be a whole queen of pentacles and whoever this was that was coming for you coming after you they're going to be stressed out because things are going to be ending all around for for them you could possibly um yeah because of the choices that they made whoever this stalker is who is this stalker for aquarius stalker who is that 
it's done. I just keep getting this done. Somebody here was collaborating with someone to stalk you. People could have been stalking you on behalf of somebody else here, trying to see if whatever magic that they were doing over you was working. But I feel like tower moment here is a tower coming in. It's a tower coming in for whoever this was that was stalking you, Aquarius. What's that tower? I feel like someone here is going to have to be stuck, stuck watching you be happy. The tower moment, I feel like, Aquarius, you're, you're, not, you're not going to... Yeah, justice. Justice is going to be served in your life. You're going to be happy. They're they're waiting to see if it's working, and it's never going to work. It's not working. Look, six of wands, victory and success for you, Aquarius. This tower cannot. This tower will come down in their life because they're everything that they're trying to do to you has left them stuck, and you're in the ten of ten of cups, seven of cups. You have multiple different avenues of of like success in whatever way you know. You create it. You're a king of you're in your king of wands energy. You're taking on you're you're being a leader. Yeah, you could also be look, Empress. You're the Empress. Okay, somebody here has tried to weigh you down. This stalker could have tried to weigh you down, possibly tried to make you feel fearful or try they tried to do something, but it, it literally came crashing down with that tower card. Look, they tried to make you miss an opportunity here. They tried to, by weighing you down and, and putting a different weight on you, Aquarius. But I feel like you're still going to move forward towards a passion in the beginning. I feel like they're they're going to be looking like this because the magic didn't work. That's what they look like. They looking like that because the magic didn't work. Truth is, you're still you're still moving forward. And I feel like they were already warned to like pull back their energy by this hierophant. This could be God warning them to, hey, you need to you need to stop and hold on to what you got. Okay, while they're watching you, there it's like you, you, God is telling them they need to stop and hold on to what you have because very soon these people are, who have been doing all this spell work, all that like they did so they're doing so much spell work and they're about to be holding the wands of all of it like. They're about to be holding all that. This is the energy, their energy. Yeah, because I feel like you're in this energy, star energy, emperor energy. You're in your boss energy. You're healing. You're balancing out your life. You're taking control over your life, Aquarius. You're doing what you have to do for yourself while these people here are sitting here stuck in the five of wands in conflict. Someone here could have been sending conflict towards you because you were, they felt like you were alone. Um... Yeah, you could. Yeah, but I, yeah, I feel like um, yeah, this could also be somebody. This stalker could be somebody who is from your past as well. Somebody who could be connected to somebody from your past. Okay, this could also be the emperor who's stalking you, feeling like they missed an opportunity with you, Aquarius. Let's see, what's this interracial couple? Interracial couple. This could be a two guys, a gay couple. Somebody here feels bound by it, though. They feel bound by this. I feel like one person's kind of like for a show, like on show, and the other person's just like for logic, like let's logically figure out how we're going to balance this out within this relationship because we keep running into different obstacles. Yes, it's like you two have been strong in overcoming different karmic energies that have come towards you, um, but it's also left you both in, in an indecisive space because of all the different challenges that you've had to go through just because of uh, your race. Or because of your differences um, that are pretty visible on the outside. Look, and I feel like somebody here is about to, you know, take a risk and go on an adventure. They're about to choose to go on an adventure. And probably somebody here could somebody here could have it could be very impulsive as well within this interracial couple. Somebody here is very impulsive. Um, and I feel like there's some things have happened because of this person's 
impulsiveness um possibly this king of wands and this this king of swords who's very logical is kind of like getting ready possibly to close out this cycle and move forward because they've been through so much different things with this person where it's like you know hey now this is this is i feel like this person coming and showing something else like hey what is this this page of pentacles is like what is this why are, what is this i thought we were already past this i thought we were past that look somebody's going to be mad making a judgment call they're going to have to quickly make a judgment call because of some type of um indecision that was there or somebody here has been stuck in an indecision and, and there's some things that have to change now yeah within a family unit it seems like so let's see what's this march aries march aries for the aquarius march aries for the aquarius Um, this could have been a, um, a family that you had with somebody who was karmic. I feel like that's come to an end or maybe it's not going nowhere. And with the world card, I feel like there's a cycle that's closing out here within that space with that March Aries. Um, yeah, because somebody could have been doing a lot of lying or you could have just found some new type of information that's helping you to move forward. What's the March Aries for the Aquarius? Yeah, I see you, you finding out about something here. After you like kind of slowed down and just looked at it for what it was, yeah, you found out something. You found somebody was in a five of swords playing mind games, being man manipulative, trying to keep you stuck and bound in your head. This March Aries, yep, seven of swords. They was doing too much behind the scenes. They was being sneaky, manipulative. They was they was lying like a fuck. <laughs> somebody was lying like a fuck. Somebody didn't want you to see this. Whatever they were doing. They cross, they eyes covered, their arms crossed, their legs crossed. Just they they wanted to keep you blinded. You know, keep you crossed up, blind, blinded, you know, while they was running around in the seven of swords, five of swords energy, devil, karmic. This is somebody who was in your family, actually. Somebody here who could be very young minded as well. But your intuition told you something wasn't right. Yeah, but I feel like you gotta close out this cycle with this person because this is too much drama. It's too much chaos. I feel like you're you're elevating to a different place and you're like, you know what, this is what the fuck it is and this is what the fuck it ain't. So you you um need to move around. I feel like that's what you're gonna be saying to this March Aries. And it could have taken you a long time to be able to get to that space to say what you need to say to this person here, Aquarius. But yeah, look, time to move on. Lead this person, whoever this is, out in the cold, because this person is very materialistic. Um, they only really care about money, possibly only care about themselves. They be like very making very impulsive, fast decisions, you know, just doing shit. Or you could possibly cut this person off very quickly, you know, and choose to just live life in a different way. Look, that's the ghost, ghosting energy, you know, hermit. And then somebody here, it's like, I feel like you could have been in a king of cups energy um very like loving and helpful wanting to help this person but i see you realizing how manipulative this person was and every single time you agreed to go and do whatever this was with this march aries it ended up backfiring on you and you ended up getting the shit end of the stick carrying all the weight by yourself and i see you in a king of cups energy very balanced in your emotion and so you're choosing to be like you know what no i don't want to do this with you no i'm not mad no, I just don't want to do this, you know? Like, you're being very honest and direct. And so, um, that's probably going to make this person mad. But it's time for you to leave this person out in the cold. Look, that's the truth. Yeah. Single, look. Nine of nine of Pentacles. I see you going ahead and being single because you're like, I don't got time for this shit. Yeah. That's that Aries card. This is your energy, Aquarius. And then you go, that's the Aries. All right, y'all. Well, that's what I have for the Aquarius. I shall see you in the next one. Subscribe. Later.